All right, here are solutions for perfect problem seven for math 213, uh, where you're asked to construct an octagon, a regular octagon, using only a straight edge and a compass. So it'll be a little bit weird, challenging, difficult, something to make these solutions, because I'm kind of writing them by hand and don't have a straight edge or a compass. Maybe I can talk you through what you would do if you had those things. So anyways, if you got a straight edge, you can draw a line. Ooh, that is an ugly line, but whatever. Suppose that's a line. You have your line, and then you can pick a point and put one edge of your compass there and then pick any length you want it doesn't matter so maybe that's my length right here and put kind of the drawing end of my compass here and create a circle and yeah I guess that's close enough to a circle uh, what I'm gonna end up doing with this circle you know what maybe I'll make my circles in red so that things don't all kind of blur together at the end because it's gonna be kind of a mess I suspect by the time it's all over all right, so I made this circle around this point that I chose arbitrarily, and I chose the radius of this circle arbitrarily as well. Um, but what that allows me to do is to find a new point here on this line and draw the first of my eight edges of my octagon. There it is, that beautiful thing right there. Uh, now what I'm going to do is draw another edge of my octagon. And the way I'm going to do that is I am going to take advantage of the fact that I can draw a perpendicular bisector. The way I draw a perpendicular bisector is I take this point and I put one edge of my compass here and the other edge of my compass somewhere over here past the halfway point, let's just say I put it right here, and I sort of swing this arc out here and make a line over here. And then do the same thing over here and make a line here. And then I put the pointy end of my compass here and the drawing end down here and I kind of swing this arc out and it crosses there. And the same idea, pointy end here, drawing end here, swing out my arc, it looks something like that. And if I connect those two points with a straight line, so something that looks like that, um, I will have a perpendicular bisector, which is great, but you're like, yeah, that's great if you're trying to draw a square. You're not trying to draw a square, you're trying to draw an octagon. But that's okay, fear not. I can now bisect this angle. I've just created this angle here. If I bisect this angle, what that will do is give me this diagonal line, which I will need for my octagon. So the way I'm going to bisect this angle is I'm going to take advantage of some points again. Take advantage of this point here and this point here. And so maybe I put one my pointy end here and my drawing end here, and I sort of swing this arc out this way. The same thing, pointy end here, drawing end here, and I sort of swing the arc out there. Go a little further. Ah. Uh, and then from this side, pointy end here, drawing end here, and I swing the arc through. Pointing in here, drawing in here, and I swing the arc through. And what I've managed to do is create two new points, which I can connect this point and this point. And because I drew them so carefully and perfectly, they'll go right through that point. Oh, almost went through that. Close enough. And I get this line. And you're like, all right, there's lots of lines floating around. What are you actually using? What are you keeping? Well, I claim that the second side of my octagon is going to be this part right here in blue. Now, how do I know that that works? Well, first off, I know that this length is the same as this length because I created this circle right here. A circle has a constant radius, and since it was centered here, the distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here. I know that this line is diagonal, that this angle is 45 degrees, or this entire one is 135 degrees, which is exactly what I want for my octagon. So what I now have is a point right here, um, and I, I extended this line quite a bit, and I'll take advantage of that soon. Um, but what I want to do is I want to take this point right here and I want to draw a line uh, that is parallel to this line in green or maybe easier perpendicular to this line in green. But the nice thing about this line in green right here is we did this on our worksheet where if you have a line and you have a point that's not on that line, then you can always draw a line perpendicular to this line through this point. And so the way you do that is you can put the pointy end of your compass right here and put the drawing end uh, wherever you want. So I don't know, maybe I'll pick right here for my drawing end. Um, so I'll draw a circle, pointy end here, drawing in here, I kind of swing out this little arc. If I kept going, it would intersect right here. Is that true? Okay, I don't, I don't want my picture to be, I want my picture to be accurate. Um, so I want to go through this point, maybe I'll make the circle bigger. I'll put it like right here. So pointing in here, drawing in here, 
and I'll draw this circle that kind of comes around and maybe it hits somewhere up here. I don't know. Uh, so I'm swinging out this. I'm swinging, making a circle from this point, and it defines these two new points here and here. And the great thing about these two points is if I construct their perpendicular bisector between this point and this point. So I put the pointy end here and the drawing end here and swing out an arc this way. Pointy end here, drawing in here, swing out an arc this way. And if you do that from both sides, what you'll get are these two points. And these two points are the perpendicular by define the perpendicular bisector of this line segment. And by the way I constructed this, I know that that perpendicular bisector will go right through that point, which is key. I can create this line. And what I've just managed to do is get start to draw the third side of my octagon. So the way I can do things is if I put the pointy end right here and the drawing end here, I create a circle around this point. So let's see, can I do that relatively neatly? Sure. So it looks something like that. Uh, and so because, again, a circle has a constant radius, that means the distance from here to here is the exact same as the distance from here to here. So I can draw the third side of my octagon here. I don't think I want to draw this whole octagon, so I'm going to change the problem for you guys. I'm going to make it so you just draw half of an octagon. Um, or I could just say, you know, dot, 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 keep doing this, because really you're just repeating what you did. But I don't want to torture you guys if you've already... Oh, you know, maybe you could save some time as you go through these. Well, whatever. I'll keep going. So I have this point right here. But note that I have this line from earlier. And this line was perpendicular to this line. So what that means is that when I draw my next side length, it better hit this line in green right here. But where is it going to hit? Is it going to hit over here or over here? Well, that's easy enough to figure out if you put the pointy end of your compass here and the drawing end here. And you draw that circle. You'll have uh, a point that oh, only one point of intersection. I guess you have two. You have one way over here. But only one relevant point of intersection between that circle you just drew and this green line where I know my answer lies upon. So all I have to do is connect those two points. And what I've managed to do is draw on another side of my octagon. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have you do half of this. I'm going to do one more of these. So one more line, you want to draw a line that goes through this point um, and then kind of straight up parallel to this guy. Well, the great thing about this point is uh, all I have to do is do my perpendicular bisector trick again. So I create a circle, whatever circle I want. Um, maybe I'll take advantage of this circle. And so I'm going to put the pointy end of my compass here and the drawing end here. And draw a circle around this guy. I think this circle will end up serving two purposes by the time I use it. But uh, for now, you just you draw this circle. Uh, and that defines a point over here and a point over here. Had I made this green line a little bit longer, which I can always go back and do, I can just put a, edges of my straight edge there and there. And draw the line a little bit longer. Uh, so what I have is a point here and a point here. And if I construct the perpendicular bisector of that line segment, it's guaranteed to go through this point and it'll go straight up and it'll be the last side that I need. Uh, so let's see if we can do that. We, um, yeah, that'll work. Uh, so what you want to do is put the pointy end of it you have your compass here and the drawing end maybe over here and create this arc. Oh, I guess that should have been in red. So again, pointy end here, drawing end here, sketch this arc. So it goes kind of right through there. And then pointy end here, drawing end here, and you kind of draw this arc, goes down like that. Pointy end here, drawing end here, and you draw your arc and it goes something like this. Pointy end, drawing end. Pointy is a weird word to say over and over again. Uh, you've just defined two more points, one right here, one right here. And by construction, the way you drew these, it's guaranteed to go through that point, which is great because now all I have to do is shade in the region from here to up here. 
uh, because I know that length will be the same as this length because it came from this circle. Um, that gives me half my octagon. I guess it doesn't quite give you half of your octagon yet. It gives you a little bit more than half your octagon. Um, so really, to get exactly half my octagon, I need to know what point is halfway between these two points. Well, again, perpendicular bisector. All you got to do is put the pointy end here, the drawing end, and maybe here, and sketch an arc, and you've already done that with this circle. And then you put the pointy end here and the drawing end here, and you sketch an arc. Uh, so it would go up like this and over here, and you've just defined these two points. And if you connect those two points, this guy and this guy with a straight line, well, that's not close to straight, <clears throat> this point and this point, it looks something like that. And what that will give you, starting from here, is half of an octagon. exactly half of an octagon because of that last perpendicular bisector trick that I did. So my final answer would be this shaded region right there. Wow, what a mess. Uh, not the easiest solutions to make on a computer, but I guess I'll call that good. Hopefully that gives you some guidance in terms of how you do these things.